Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel with another fan TV, man. Back at you another video at the content. This video, go and smash that like button to content this channel. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Look. All right, so the preseason streak continues. The Ravens won last night, um, 20 to 19. Uh, first off, I want to give a shout out to my cousin. He came through with some last minute tickets. Uh, I posted some from where we were sitting at in the community tab. Y'all want to check out where we were sitting at. Um, came through with some last minute tickets, so shout out to him. Uh, we got there a little late, but still saw plenty of the game. So shout out to you, bro. I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, the next Ravens game that I'll be going to um, in person probably will, not probably it will be the uh, the Lions game. That's a week before my birthday, so got them as a birthday present. So I'll be there when the Ravens play the Lions. So that's gonna be my next game. But seeing this game in person uh, was cool, great experience. Always great to go down to MT Bank Stadium, preseason or not. Stadium practice, whatever. It's always good to go down to the bank. So, all right. You know, it's preseason, so I'm not going... We're going to talk about the game, but we're not in here to get in-depth analysis on preseason. Uh, but we're going to talk about some stand-up performance, some guys that played well, some guys that showed well. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's just get right into that, all right? Um, I got I got four guys, two on offense, two on defense. And then we'll talk about some other players as well, you know what I mean? Not exactly standouts, but, you know, guys that should be mentioned because they had, they had good games, right? Um... Tyler Huntley's the guy I want to start off with, okay? Uh, Tyler Huntley, 8 for 11, 88 yards, one touchdown. Uh, did this in, like, two drives, really. Um, I think they said he got, take, he got taken out the game. Justin Bieber had put out that uh, Tyler Huntley was trying to go back in the games, uh, but the, the athletic trainers took him off the field or whatever. Like, they wouldn't let him go back in the game. Uh, doesn't seem like he was injured too seriously. Seemed like it was more of a precautionary thing. So, we'll, we'll, we'll monitor that situation. But uh, with that being said, there is no backup quarterback conversation, all right? I don't know where John Harbaugh is, is getting this idea that, you know, yeah, it's Tyler Huntley versus Josh Johnson to be the team's backup quarterback. Uh, we're going to let them battle it out to see who's better. I don't see that at all, all right? Um, now, Josh Johnson's stats say like 8 for 12, 45 yards, some, some, some of that nature, but um, he he's just remarkably unimpressive, Okay. And listen, listen, at the end of the day, this is not Josh Johnson's, you know, fault per se. Um, he's, what, 35 years old, something like that. You know, he's been on like 15 NFL teams, you know, so he's been on the block, right? Uh, I don't know why John Harbaugh all of a sudden is like, yeah, we're having a backup quarterback competition between him and Huntley. I don't I don't know why. But Tyler Huntley proved last night that um, he is the far superior quarterback. As soon as he came in the game, the offense changed. It was smooth. It was running efficiently. Um, really no hiccups in the offense. Um, it just looked better all around with Tyler Huntley in the game, right? I, I don't I don't understand this. Like I said, I don't understand this whole backup quarterback competition thing that we're going on. If you want to say Josh Johnson and Anthony Brown are competing for, for third string, you're more than happy to do that, right? I like Anthony Brown a lot, you know, as a third string quarterback. Uh, he didn't play well last night. Obviously, he had to pick six and, you know, was kind of, you know, missed some throws. Had a couple of good ones as well, but missed some throws overall. If you want to say those two are competing, go for it. But Tyler Huntley and, and, and Anthony, I mean, sorry, Josh Johnson, are nowhere near close to each other. Okay, so, um, yeah. So, Tyler Huntley showed out, played well, um, and uh, got the Ravens right down the field. And I think the first drive he was on the field was 13 plays, 75 yards, six minutes off the clock. Touchdown. Um, nice back show to Tyler Wallace. Shout out to Tyler Wallace. Great catch, man. Uh, so, yeah. So, that's my first stand-up performer, man. Um, uh, Tyler Huntley. Good job. Okay, second stand-up performer. Um, somebody I brought up in the preseason watch list when I, my, my first one I did uh, after going to some of these training camp practices. And that's Sean Ryan, man. He had four catches uh, for 37 yards. I think he had like seven targets. Um, so, pretty. So, so not not bad on the, on the catch-to-target uh, ratio. Not not too bad, but it's not. He was a guy that was always open, just in the right spots, good hands, reliable. Um, and he got a good frame, man. 6'4", 215-ish pounds, something I think somewhere around that. Undrafted free agent Rutgers. So I thought he had a really good game, uh, especially in the second half. He was targeted more because um, he, he was getting open, right? And uh, he made some tough catches. I know the one Anthony Brown threw him on the, threw him on the sideline. Cornerback is right on his back, still catches it with his hands, breaks it in, like seven-yard completion. But um, I really like what I saw from him. Uh, I thought that, you know, the Ravens have a lot of competition for the wide receiver six spot. I think Laquan Trevorrow is still the guy in the league because I like some of the things he did in the first half, especially at the end of the first half, set up that field goal for Justin Tucker. Um, so I don't think, like, you know, Sean Ryan's closing that gap. 
but he's definitely closing the gap to be a guy that's going to be on the practice squad this, this upcoming season, right? So I like what I saw from him. And, uh, you know, we'll see if he can continue building that practice in another preseason game, right? We'll see if he can build on that. All right, so that that's your two offensive guys I got for standout performers. Um, on defense, I'm going to talk about a guy that's been here for a couple years, and that's Malik Harrison, man. We're talking about five tackles, one TFL, one sack. Um, in that first half, he was he was flying. He was all around the field. I mean, this is the fastest I've ever seen Malik Harrison play, honestly. Now, um, yes, you know, it's preseason, things like that. We get all of that. But um, I like the confidence he played with. And he was playing traditional linebacker. So for the Ravens, he hasn't really got an opportunity to play traditional linebacker a whole bunch. Just because, you know, obviously PQ is here. Obviously Roquan is here. But even before that... Um, the Ravens were kind of moving him around. I remember when um, when Wink Martindale was the with the DC, and he kind of had Millie Harrison playing outside linebacker because he could set the edge to stop the run. Um, but this game, he got to play true inside linebacker, and uh, he played pretty well. I was I was happy with what he did. Um, he looked fast out there. He didn't look sluggish. So um, Malik Harrison had a really good game, honestly, right? And I'm bringing him up over somebody like I'm gonna mention somebody later like Deshaun Phillips just because. I think Malik Harrison has a chance to play. Now, obviously, Queen and Roquan are going to get the majority of the snaps, but you never know what happens during the season, injuries, things like that. You never know what's going to happen. So a guy like Malik Harrison looking good in preseason, looking confident in preseason, could be beneficial to the Ravens down the line. All right? Now, um, second player on defense I'm going to talk about, okay? And that's uh, that's Daryl Worley, man. Daryl Worley had three tackles, two sacks, one forced fumble, and uh, one tackle for loss. Uh, Daryl Worley, especially in the second half, was he was all over the field, uh, making plays constantly. Um, well, actually, Daryl Worley had four tackles, three solos. Sorry, sorry about that. Uh, but anyway, and one for his fumble. So he was all over the field uh, last year. He had some some good games versus the, uh, for the Ravens. Excuse me, um, had some good games for the Ravens. I remember versus the uh, the Bengals, he was on Jamar Chase. He didn't lock him down. I'm not saying that, but he played well. He competed versus Chase. And then when he got out there, got his opportunities, I like what Darrell Woolley did. Last night, I think he was playing some safety just because the Ravens are kind of thin on the back end with all the injuries to cornerback. They got to ship some guys around, this and that, whatever. All right, so, um, but versatility. He showed he could play corner. He showed he could play safety. I'm a fan of what Darrell Woolley has been since he's been with the Ravens. Um, and the Ravens are going to need a deep cornerback room, especially with the way the injuries are looking right now. They're going to need a, a deep, let's just say defensive back room in, in total. Put the safeties in the corners together. They're gonna to need a, a deep defensive back room, and I like what Daryl Woolley has um, has done since he's been here. So I'm a fan of Daryl Woolley. Um, hopefully he continues it. But last night I really like what I saw from him. All right, uh, all right. So those are my four standout performers. I got Tyler Huntley, Sean Ryan, Malik Harrison, Daryl Woolley. Uh, now we're just talking about some players really quickly. Okay, um, this little little urge was about players. All right, um, Brandon Stevens. Up and down game. Uh, he stopped. He, he, held, he held the Eagles to the turnover world downs. He got he got kind of moss on like a little back shoulder. It was a difficult play uh, by 85 on the Eagles. I don't know who that is. I think that his name is Cleveland. Last name is Cleveland. He was catching everything. Uh, they were targeting him a lot. Uh, Brandon Seals had an up and down game. Honestly, he had more of an up and down game than you want to see for Brandon Seals when you're going against backups. I would like to see Brandon Seals show like, hey, look, I'm a guy that's potentially starting for a team. Uh, let me show you what's really going on here. And I really didn't see that for Brandon Stevens, right? Um, very inconsistent play. But I will say this. He fought. He had some catches on him, but he never stopped. Ended up with like six tackles, pass breakup. So up and down game for Brandon Stevens. Malik Ham, Baltimore kid, right? Went, went to high school here. Uh, one sack, one TFL. That's great to see. Uh, Delshawn Phillips, I talked about him. I mentioned him earlier. Ten tackles, five solo tackles. Um... Uh, he was picking off Josh Johnson in uh, in training camp, back-to-back -back days. He had two picks. Um, now he's coming in the games, 10 tackles. Great. The only reason I didn't put him as a stand-up performer is just because um, I kind of, I, I just want to see it again from him, honestly. Um, I do, man, this light got crazy. Hold on, let me move over a little bit. Let me see, shut the camera. Hold on. Bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. Um, but, yeah, I, I did like what Deshaun Phillips did, all right? Um, now, some guys... On the opposite side, all right, uh, James Prochet, all right, it's 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 over, man. It's, I'm sorry. Uh, James Prochet is a guy that, you know, I've been rooting for for a long time as far as being on the Ravens. Uh, I like his personality. He's a good dude. 
but it's just not happening um, as a football player, as an NFL player, on, at least for the Ravens. It's just not happening. Big, big fumble on the pump return. Made a guy miss, and as he was going past him, that, that arm swiped at the football, came right out. Um, it's just not happening for James Prochet, man. So, you know, um, good dude, but he's just not going to make the team. Um, Josh Johnson kind of talked about it earlier. He's just not very good. Um, I don't really know what else to say about Josh Johnson, you know, and this, I don't want to bash him because it's not like he's a young guy, you know what I mean? He's, he's, a, he's a vet in the league. He's not really should be a guy who's in contention to be your backup quarterback. I don't know why John Harbaugh saying this, this false competition, but, uh, yeah, Tyler Huntley's the guy. I just wasn't very impressed with Josh Johnson. Now, lastly, one guy I will get I was impressed with is uh, Keaton Mitchell. I don't see enough for him. He showed that explosiveness. He showed that speed getting around the corner. Um, I love that um, he's a versatile change of pace really kind of back. And the Ravens can use him, honestly, right? Um, I know Justice Hill is here. Justice Hill has that, can't, that same kind of speed and athleticism. I think Keith Mitchell just has a little bit more, right? Um, so if Justice Hill, say, you know, leaves next year, I think he only signed, only, he signed a two-year deal. I can't remember what Justice Hill signed. But either way, Keith Mitchell could be a guy that can get some snaps for the Ravens. Maybe not a lot, but some, all right? So listen, man, I gave you my standard performance. I gave you some players that I want to talk about. Uh, give me some of your stat up performance in the comments if you got anybody, man. And sorry for this light. It's like getting out of nowhere. But uh, if you like what's happening in this video, man, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button, man. More Ravens content to come. It's Gabriel, you know, it's Fan TV. I'm out.